What awaits in Jorvikshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I have heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I'll go at once. With caution, Eivor. Jervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Be my eyes soon. The battle climbed into the hills. Hey, who's that? Everyone all right? Help the wounded, and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Hey, they won't be happy to see the likes of me. Go meet your god. Get 
The battle climbed into the hills. man's name. We leave none behind. Well met. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl. Fresh attack from the hills. Circle round! Watch your backs! 
likes of me. your back. Are you wounded? I'll live. If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! old friend. Once again. Halfdan Reknason, we meet in the Forge of Battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle saw. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? A heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravit. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. You 
divert the Jarl, take the gear and start digging. The Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? He should drink good, honest meat with that bitter Frankish wine. Crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the Yet plan. My people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Haftan Regnason. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I let the charge. You gifted my silver to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishi's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jest hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Jarl. Please accept this. 
your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty! Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work. Fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Only a fool makes a long war in winter. Please, Lady Moira. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Wika, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? Please, Lady Moira. My wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Hafton needs me now. Maybe old Uchig has fixed my mail. Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. Dogs do not yearn to be yarls, but I am a wolf. No. Ah, Eivor. Come, let me show you our wonder. Conquered this, he and I. Together! You've earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uba, Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? 
Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Voler. It is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has called you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravit, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I have heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, Anna has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I will find what I find. Then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. Thank you.